Hi, everybody. Welcome to Greensboro, North Carolina. We're here at the Corbett Center, home of the North Carolina A&T Aggies. Zimmerman up top with the ball. Now in the low post. Blackrow slams it in, though you normally don't see him getting much airtime. It's a pleasant surprise. The Jorgensen went out of bounds, and they'll turn it over. Boy, what a botched play right there, Mike. He was out of control on that play, and he just went out of bounds. The Aggies bring it up court with a two-point lead. Corner with it out top. Zimmerman has it up top. From behind the arc, Belairs misses a very long shot. The Jackson State Tigers have possession two down. with the ball up top. Six, nine, eight, they get it seven, down low. Six, eight, Shot eight, clock eight, is at six. They have to put it up. A lot of nice things going on Marcus. in this play, Mike. Can't set it up much better than that. No, that's a beautiful assist right there, Mike. That's the way you draw it up on the chalkboard. Belairs passes it in. Takes the jumper. That's just a bad shot. I mean, you've got to take a better shot than that, and the coach is going to be really upset. He's going to let his player hear about that one, and it's going to be loud. The ball's loose. Throws it back. Zimmerman up top. Takes the shot. Black row gets the shooter's rim on a shot that was a little long. The Tigers have possession two down. Ivy from outside. Ivy picks up his fifth point of the half. He has been a scoring machine all night tonight. Whittington has the ball up top. Whittington on the assist on that one. Nice job. It's a one-point game. Cross with it up top. Has a look. That's an excellent pump fake to get his man in the air and create no, enough no, space no. where he can fire off that jump shot. Well, he certainly faked him out of something on that one. Yeah, and then he really really nice form on his jump shot. Belairs puts the ball in play. The Aggies have the ball and are one back. With the shot. Whittington sinks the runner. Well, he didn't get a clean look there. He seems to have to go in. The coach was not pleased when he was putting that one up, but he'll keep quiet because it went in. It's a one-point game. Defense. Defense. Down low with the ball. For two. Rush scores and gives them the advantage. Isaac Rush. Strong defense, Mike, but he played it perfectly and got the basket. That's a great play there by the offense. The defense just couldn't do anything to stop it. Zimmerman with the ball up top. Black Grove, 17 feet from the bucket, it won't go. The Tigers have the ball. They're up by one. Cross up top with the ball. Defense. 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 
inside shot. Belairs pulls down the defensive rebound. The Aggies have the ball and a one back. the shot. Black throw gets Number the switch. Boy, nice touch from a kid. You don't see taking a lot of shots, but a good effort on that play. It's a one-point game. Defense! 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 He puts Defense! it up. Cross, utilizing the cross over there, and gets the bucket. Black throw going to the bench. Stanley throws the ball inbounds. The Aggies have the ball and are one back. Mm. Passes it back. The Aggies, Jay, they're down a little bit as we move through the first half. Analyze their play so far. Offensively, Mike, I think they've done a pretty good job. They're sharing the ball. They're moving it from side to side. And that's important to keep the defense occupied. What they need to do on the other end is play better defense, force some turnovers, and get some easier scores. In close. Sometimes I think it's best to stick to the basics, and that's what they did right there. And that pass had eyes to set it up. Yeah, the feed really created the opportunity for that shot. Belairs with the inbound. Three-point spread on the scoreboard. Out on top. Seven seconds to shoot. Puts it up. Good basket there, Jay. And it seems these two teams are very evenly matched. They are evenly matched. They match up well with each other, and they're both sticking with their game plans. This is anybody's ball game right now. The Tigers have the ball. They're up by one. For the tray, cross, perfect on the tray. I wasn't expecting him to take that shot, but he got it to go. The Aggies take the ball up and down four points right now. Two-point differential between these clubs. He shoots. The Tigers stick with the outside jumpers. Well, the only reason the coach isn't yelling his lungs out on that play is because the shot went in. Really poor shot selection there, Mike. That's when a coach says, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, great shot. Puts it up. Whittington hits the rim but gets the shot. Rush inbounds the ball. The Jackson State Tigers bring it up court with a two-point lead. It's dropped in. It's knocked away. The North Carolina A&T Aggies with a three-quarter here could take a one-point lead. They've got a great opportunity. Let's see if they can merge. Stanley jams it in the hole for two. What a big play. Tie game here tonight. Tosses it up. The North Carolina A&T Aggies call timeout. 
Blackgrove comes back in after sitting on the bench for a while. Come on, crowd, let's hear it. Mike, I think this team needs to really make good decisions down the stretch in the closing minutes of this first half. When you're tired, sometimes you take the easy way out. They need to really dig down and concentrate and make tough plays. Whittington makes a beautiful crossover move and gets the bucket. The Tigers right now with the ball, and this game is deadlocked. What a pretty assist that was. And he's really racking up those assists right now. He's got a great awareness of where his teammates are on the floor. He's got eyes in the back of his head. Gives it back. Six left on the shot clock. They'll have to get one on for the hurry. Whittington for the three. Boy, simple and beautiful Ryan right there. That's a great feed. First the pass, then the jumper. What's not to like? And really, the point guard saw it all coming right there and put the ball in a position to score. Rush with the inbound pass. It's a one-point game. Ivy from 17 Marcus. is good. The North Carolina A&T Aggies have the ball and are one back. Shoot. The Aggies take the lead back once again. Mike, this guy is not much of a shooter, and he drops that one in despite the decent coverage from the defense. That was a solid play. He shoots. Mulholland, his jumper goes in. Frederick, it's all about the final score, isn't it? That's two points, and it doesn't matter who's putting it up as long as everybody's contributing in some way or another. Horner with the ball up top. Black Grove with Number the big 22. time jam. Oh, but look at his teammates. They knew there was some mustard being spread on that hot dog. It's a one-point game. Mulholland has it up top. Three ball. Ivy now with ten points in the half. He has been a scoring machine all night tonight. That'll do it for the first half with the score 29 to 27. Two top performers from the first half. Beecham heads to the bench. Horner triggers it in. Well, Mike, as the second half gets going, this team needs to do a better job defensively, but they've got to continue to pound the ball inside. They had an advantage in the first half in points in the paint. They've got to continue to exploit that offensively in the second half and really lock down defensively and do a better job on the glass. They feed it inside. Horner fires but can't connect inside. The Tigers bring it up court with a two-point lead. Let's go, Aggies! Let's go, Aggies! Let's go, Aggies! He goes up. Oh, what a great shot there, Mike. What a beautiful job of forcing the defender to commit one way and then deals to the open man. And that's how you get your teammates involved, Mike. four points right now. Zimmerman has the ball up top. Ball fed inside to the post. Black Grove dunks it in. He must have a late growth spurt. That's some hops. Two-point differential between these clubs. Cross out on top. Cross for 
for the three. Another basket, and we're seeing the backcourt just dominate this game, Jay. I think this team's guards have really gotten the advantage in this ballgame, Mike. You're going to have to really press out on these guys because they're knocking their shots down right now. It's passed inside. Belairs passes outside. Seven seconds to get the shot off. Four three. Belairs answers with a three of his own. Rush passes it in. Cross already has two three-pointers looking for a third on this trip down court. There's a loose ball. Picks his pocket. That's a heads-up defensive play, Mike. He saw the fancy crossover coming at him and just stripped it away. What a play. I used to say that would be one of the luckiest passes I'd ever seen, but there's no such thing as luck. They just did it right one time. We've got a tie ball game here. Cross with the ball up top. Throws it up. Here's a great example of how to make a great feed. And Jay, look at the assist. He really passed it perfectly, and the shooter took great advantage of it being ready to shoot as the ball arrived. The Aggies could tie up the game with a score this trip. Zimmerman up top. They thread it underneath. Pushing it in. Knocks it down again, and this is a kid we heard a lot about. Great individual effort, Mike. This kid is putting his team on his back right now and really taking on a big scoring load. Ivy puts the ball in play. The Tigers are in a tie game as they bring the ball up. Very alert to find the opening. How many assists Antonio. is that? That's Jorgensen. six for him now, Mike, and he's finding the open man. And credit to his teammates because when they get his passes right in the shooting alley, they're knocking down those shots and racking up the assists for him. Let's go! Releases. Black Row. Yes, the sweet Jay, he really had to work hard to make that shot go in. Boy, he sure did. And this has been a really tough battle. The game is even. We've seen some great play on both ends of the floor. Let's see if they can keep it up. Cross will be credited right, with right. the assist Ball on that Owen. one. Oh, what an assist, Mike. Looking for the open man, and they've been doing it all night. I can't emphasize enough how important good passing is. And if they can stick to their game plan as they've done so far, this is going to be a tough team to beat down the stretch. The ball goes inside. Let's check out this play. This is textbook. Oh, and this dead dish set up the corner. And the jumper goes in of the total all-around play. Rush throws it in. Cross has an opportunity to get his third three-pointer this trip. Cross with it out top. Shoots. The Jackson State Tigers score again down low. Substitution. Beecham got a long break on the bench and coach decides he wants him back out there. The Aggies have possession two down. He's in close. He's in. Beecham hits from six. It's all tied up. Defense. 
The Tigers have got a tie game here, Jay. They did what they wanted to do, though, score and bring this game back even after trailing at the break. Now, halfway through the second half, what's your analysis? Well, this team has done a terrific job to keep this close, considering that they're getting Marcus. dominated in the paint. They've got to do a better job with their interior defense and on their offensive end, punch the ball inside, try to get fouled. Stanley up top with the ball. Fires. That's a great setup and a clean finish. Let's see that one again. That was well done. And there's nothing more basic in basketball than a good pass. For a beautiful feed and a nice jump shot to finish that play. Ivy throws it in. The Tigers take the ball off court in a tie game. He fires. Jorgensen, perfect Antonio on the shot after Jorgensen. the beautiful crossover. Two-point differential between these clubs. It goes in deep. taking a lot of shots, but a good effort on that play. Cross already has two three-pointers looking for a third on this trip down court. Cross up top with the ball. The inside shot. Just look at the matchup out there tonight between these two team leaders. They're doing a great job of finding these two guys and getting them the ball. It's very difficult to key on just one guy when both of them are playing so well for their respective teams. Zimmerman botches the layup. Mike, you win games with rebounding, and that's a solid rebound in this second half. We've got a tight game here, every possession important. They pass it inside. Oh, let's cue up the replay on this one. That kid has great court vision. What a pass. First the pass, then the jumper. What's not to like? And really, the point guard saw it all coming right there and put the ball in a position to score. Beecham will come off the floor. Belairs with the inbound. The Aggies take the ball up, down four points right now. Whittington out on top. The Jackson State Tigers have a four-point edge as the clock is becoming a factor. Jay, what do you say? Right. Mike, as this game winds down, you really have to be impressed with the way this team has shot the three. They have really done a great job of getting the ball inside and then kicking it out to open shooters, and they've knocked down those big shots. Jorgensen with the ball up top. Shoots it. Well, he gets the contested shot, but it doesn't disturb his shot, but great concentration. Let's take another look. Right there, that's what I mean, Mike. Now, that's one heck of a play. A lot of poise on that shot. Jay, you're absolutely right. He's got a great stroke, too. Four-point game we've got right now. Returns the ball. Zimmerman with it up top. Clock down to six. Oh, oh. oh good basket there. We've got a close one. And Mike, this is the kind of game that's going to go down to the wire, and that's where these kids can really make big plays. Cross could pick up his 20th point this Rebound. trip down the floor. Jorgensen from behind the arc. Jay, that one goes in, and they're really outperforming the other team in the second half. Well, that's an understatement. They've hit more threes in this half than the other teams hit all game long. Three is the magic number for this team. Let's go, 
Zimmerman utilizing the crossover there and gets the bucket. Jay, the clock's become a factor here. If they hurry up, Mike, I think they can get a two for one right now on this possession. The Tigers will take a timeout there. Mulholland inbounds the ball with the jump shot. Good shot with the jumper there. Nice anticipation there. Practice pays off. It certainly does. It paid off there because they got the ball to the right man in the right position. And he hit the sweet jumper. That's a clean, nice play. Crunch time now. Not a lot of time left on the clock. Under a minute, Jay. And there's not a lot of time, Mike. They need a quick basket and then get a foul. They've got to stop this clock and make the other team march to the free throw line and hit big free throws. Puts it up. That was really a flashy move from a kid who's not known for having a lot of flash to his game. And he created his own space on that point. But you have to be impressed with that showing. He's proving that he has more flash than we certainly thought he had. Only 25 on the game clock. Whittington will wrap him up. That's his first foul of the game. Whittington is called for the foul. That will be his second foul of the contest. Ivy with it out top. Whittington is called from the personal. That's his third foul so far. Horner is called from the personal. That's his first foul of the game. Mulholland with the inbound pass. Horner will wrap him up. That will be his second foul of the contest. Whittington is called for the foul. He gets hit with his fourth foul of the game and in the bonus, so we'll head to the strike for one and one. He makes his first shot at the line. Both free throws are good. Carolina and the Aggies take their last time out. Zimmerman up top. Forced the pass, and it's a turnover. Black Crow is called for the personal. That's his first foul of the game, but they're already in the bonus, so they'll get a chance at the line for the one and one. He hits the first free throw. And he gets both free throws to drop. Horner throws the ball inbounds. Seven points between these clubs. Boy, simple and beautiful right there. That's a great feed. And there's nothing more basic in basketball than a good pass. Boy, a beautiful feed and a nice jump shot to finish that play. Zimmerman will wrap him up. He picks up his second foul. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot one and one. He hits the first free throw. And he gets both free throws to drop. Let's go. Let's Seven go. seconds to go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Takes the shot. Let's go. Let's Zimmerman go. misses the Let's shot, go. bangs off the back of the Let's rim. Go. That's the end of the game. Your final score, 63 to 56. Have a look at today's Burger King players of the game.